Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Cal, bringing you another video on the channel today. So, hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything's going okay. So, today we're going to be talking about what is it like living with a dissolved ego, or just living and being without your ego. And so, when I mean ego, as Eckhart Tolle says, and I really like his definition of it, is identification with form. So, this could be thought form, the source of all suffering, in my opinion, my conclusion, physical form, uh, verbal form, any form you can think of that you can describe with words. And it can even be my YouTube channel, it could be my job, it could be uh, an activity I do like weightlifting, anything like that that I identify with. When you start to move past identification, right, and you realize who you truly are and you're not all these things that you claim to be, you know, and that's ultimately an illusion, you start to move to a place of neutrality, a place of peace, because you realize those are not who you are. For me, living without ego, from my own experience, and when I've been able to recognize it and break free of the conditioning that's been placed on me, the identification that I've you know, been conditioned to think, I've ultimately been incredibly peaceful. My mind is quiet. My mind has slowed down. It's not bouncing thoughts into my attention and ultimately dictating my reality. I'm able to be one with everything around me. Let me ask you this. When you're not thinking, when you're not, you're completely in the moment and you look around, is anything trying to hurt you? Everything around you is neutral. And it's through our interpretation, through our perception that we interpret things, you know, such as my, an animal, you know, or a person. And it distorts our reality because, you know, they do something to us or, you know, we take something, you know, a bit more personally and it becomes negative or positive. And ultimately, that's our perception of things. And everything around us is neutral beyond our perception. I could, I could label this camera as great, but it's just there. You know what I mean? And that's just my perception. When I'm in my egoic state, I am constantly thinking, I am constantly identifying with these thought forms and it's ultimately dictating my reality. Just the other day, you know, I hurt my upper back up like a dumbass weightlifting. And you know, at first I was like, ah, oh, crap, man. Like I've talked about this before. I hurt my lower back. And through that experience of me hurting my lower back, I was able to apply it to my upper back where thoughts were telling me like, oh crap, yeah, like, you're so stupid, you know, you know, this is going you know, to put you out for such a long time. Ultimately, I was able to observe my thoughts and let go of my ego in that moment because I realized, you know, it wasn't a terrible injury. It was only like a weak strain um, and I'll be back in no time. And it's already healing. It's been two days since the injury. I worked out today and it was, it was pretty good, you know. When you start to move past this identification, you realize the real versus the illusion. And living without an ego gives you such a more clear perception, gives you such a more distinct understanding of what's real versus what's not. Like, and when you identify with your thoughts constantly, oh crap, this sucks, you know, I'm never, I, I might not ever be able to weightlift again. And it ultimately gives you this illusional reality within you. But the ultimately reality that's true is, okay, yeah, you just got injured. What are you gonna do about it? And you can either learn from that experience or you can suffer within that moment that happened in the past. This is another thing living with the ego. You're in the moment more and you're not thinking about the past. You're not thinking about the future. You're in the here and now and you realize since that is the only real time, right? And the only real thing that it's precious. And once you're constantly in the moment, you're and since everything around you is peaceful and neutral, you're peaceful and neutral. You know, Eckhart Tolle always, I was reading one of his books and one of the question, or one of the things he suggested uh, individuals should do is how are you treating this present moment? And that is a great question because when you ask how are you treating this present moment, it kind of puts you into that observer state and you, you start to be aware of your own awareness. And what does that mean? You start to watch your thoughts more you start to like okay let me just take a step back what is my perception of reality at this moment and if you're pissed off if you're happy you know and that's how you're treating the present moment and that's how the present moment's going to treat you back because ultimately it's it's just your own perception of things that are neutral and they're not they're not there to hurt you you know obviously you know there are bad things in this world there are immoral things in this world i'm not saying i'm not saying like you know murdering is like a neutral thing by any means but it's ultimately our interpretation of that that makes it bad as a collective perception just living without ego is so free because you can understand the real you can be in the moment as much as possible you move away from illusion and more into the real and that is such a great thing. And it, for me personally, by gaining this 
awareness, gaining this understanding and waking up to through spirituality, I've been able to, you know, grow tremendously as an individual. And by no means am I at the point where I'm at in this world of becoming, but I realize I am already complete, you know, and the ego, when you start to live without it, you can realize this, you can realize that you are a multidimensional being having a human experience and whatever your interpretation of that is your interpretation of that. When you live with ego, you constantly identify with these thought forms and all these other forms and there's a great deal of suffering and I still identify with my ego you know it's still there by no means is it completely gone and maybe it will never be gone but there's a lot more negative emotions divisiveness you, you feel as though you're stuck in this cage you're in a prison you know and when you start to break free of that cage you become free and you realize that you're everything you're everything you know because you're connected to everything and you are one you're not living in, du in a duality you're living in a state of oneness and you know i've talked about this before in other videos if you look at a cat you know they're unconditionally themselves they don't have thought forms they don't have an ego they are always in the moment they are always present just like a tree they're always a being you know there's always a oneness there mind right their mind made self their self-image, their limitations, you know, that's what causes this duality. When you break free of your ego and you dissolve it, that duality becomes one. And that's essentially what I wanted to explain to you guys in this video. It might have been confusing, you know, but just kind of think about what I'm saying, you know, even though it may be foreign to what you're not used to now, just realize this is my perspective. You can disagree with me, question what I'm saying. Don't feel pressured into doing anything. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys, and if you can take something from it, um, then I've done my job. I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Love yourself because I love you, baby. Peace the fuck out.